people wonder about how I got to um, pee in a van in a Tupperware container, but the fact is that I didn't have a choice because it was on the way to Chicago and Scott told me that they weren't going to stop for anything and there was like still, I don't know how many hours left, but there was a long time. And even though I went at McDonald's before, like after dinner, I went to the bathroom, I must have drank a lot. Well, we did have a birthing contest, but I was in the car and I knew I had to get to the bathroom, but I just tried to ignore it for a really long time. And then the road got really bumpy and it got to the point where I couldn't stand it. I was like almost in tears because it hurt so bad. So someone had cookies in the van. Um, I was sitting in the back, but they had cookies in like a Tupperware. It was like a quart Tupperware container. And um, they were like, well, here, why don't you just pee in this if you have to go to the bed? And it was a joke at first, but then I was like, okay, I'm going to. My family, um, I guess it's kind of strange, but whose isn't? I live with my mom and my dad. Um, my mom worked at Kroger's for a really long time, but now she just stays at home and babysits my nephews. Um, my dad's the price manager at Buckles. He has been for a really long time. And I obviously have a sister, but she's 19 years older than me, so that makes her 34. And I guess there's good and bad things to it. I mean, if I go somewhere, she's definitely considered an adult, so I don't really have to have my parents around. But she lives in her own house. Um, she's moving to Columbus soon with her husband. Um, and she has two little boys, Colby and Skylar. One's three um, and one's seven. They can be brass, but you gotta love them anyways, because they're cute. Um, <laughs> I live beside my grandma, which is my mom's mom. Um, she's cool, because she makes really good cookies and waffles, so you always get first dibs on those. But there's bad things, too. She always comes over and checks on me and stuff. Um, and I don't have any pets right now. I did have a dog. He was a little dog. His name is Bandit, and he's really cute, but he tore a hole in my mom's couch and she got kind of upset so I had to give him away and I don't like cats at all except for this one cat I used to have but I think it's partially because my friend has mean cats and I don't like them and they crawl in my sleeping bag when I'm trying to spend the night at her house but yep that's basically my family. God's and all parts of my life and it's hard to describe what God is I'm just gonna say that he is he's in everything he's in everything that I do everything that I see like the the Sun the wind the flowers like and I didn't realize that but there's so many miracles around me it's hard to explain what God is in one word like God just says he's amazing he's gracious he's love he's everything and the only way that I think you'll ever experience that is when you worship and you feel him I am a freshman at Urbana High School this year I'm a cheerleader for basketball season and I made varsity this next year but I cheered freshmen this past year I am in band I play tenor saxophone this year and I twirl I'm a majorette during football season I didn't run track this year, but I did in the past. I'm in student council. I'm also president of my class or whatever. If I could be any cartoon character or have any superpower, unlike everyone else, I would be the person from Chaston because he can do whatever he wants whenever he wants, so he's not limited to like one power. So if he wants to fly, he can draw wings and fly. And if he wants to swim, he can draw fins. And if he wants to be strong, he can draw big muscles and then beat someone up. This one last bullet you mentioned It's my one last shot of redemption Cause I know to live, you must give your life up When I first started coming to The Rush, I didn't realize what a great program it was. But then I started coming more regularly and I realized it was a really cool place to hang out and learn about God and have fun. I looked around during worship and there was all these teenagers that had their hands raised. And before, I had never been around anything like near that at all. And I knew that it was a good environment to hang out in. So once I started becoming more regular at going, um, my life changed as I saw how God could be applied to even my life and how he could work through like young people like me just as much as adults. And 
Sure. Before that, like, I went to church and listened to all these old people talk, and it wasn't exciting, but the rush has, like, definitely changed, and I, like, recommend it to whoever. My dreams after high school, um, I'm not really quite sure exactly what I want to do yet. I do know I want to go to a college, but right now I'm interested in um, a lot of things. I like music and fine arts a lot, but I don't really want to stay in Ohio because I think there's a lot more out there and I want to see it, like at least for that period of my life. I do like science a lot too, so I'm not quite sure. For a while, I wanted to be um, a type of surgeon or a psychiatrist, but now I'm not sure at all. Other than that, I don't really know. I do know I want to be happy, and I might come in, end up coming back here, but whatever comes, comes, and that's about it. My favorite color teal and turquoise because pink's out this time and my favorite place to eat is probably Olive Garden because Italian's good and my favorite sport to watch is ice skating because it is a sport and it reminds me of ballet which I like and my favorite movie like recently it has to be The Notebook and my favorite sport to play I do like playing tennis, even though I'm not on the team or anything. Favorite season because they're all pretty. Although I do like fall and spring and summer. I don't like winter that much. And 